Today I'm going to be talking all about persistence, the most important OCD recovery ingredient, the most important life ingredient. You hear it spoken about all day long on podcasts. You hear it spoken about all day long on social media. But very, very few, a rare few actually apply this. Why? Because it takes hard work and grit because we like comfort and we all tend to fall into comfort traps. Why? Our brains are sending out emotions all day long, different emotions. We're the slave to the brain sending that out because we've got no control over what emotions and thoughts the brain sends out. But what we do have control over is our persistence, our consistent pushing forward day in, day out through this marathon of life. That is the key ingredient to life. And if you want to be one of those rare, rare few who ever do this and ever achieve their goals, you're going to have to get good at persisting through discomfort. When I wake up, I don't care how I feel. I get on with the day. We all wake up differently. I'm not talking about in the sense of chronic anxiety. I don't experience that any longer. But when I wake up out of bed, I sometimes feel, I haven't slept so great tonight. Oh, I've got a lot to think about. Oh, I ate some really heavy food yesterday and I can still feel that. All these things humans go through. Get up. Go to the gym, go to your job, connect with your family, connect with your partner, get on with life. That is key. In today's world, we have a lot of not getting on with things because it's we've got into this sort of compulsive habit of venting and talking all the time about how we feel. It's not about bottling it up. We've got to talk about how we feel to get better. But we don't need to constantly vent and constantly talk about every emotion because we're going to have a lot of emotions. We're going to experience a lot of discomfort because life is discomfort. It's not some Disneyland story that we watched when we were 10 and then we believed our world to be like that when our parents said you can be anything you want. Yes, you can be within reason, but you've got to persist and you've got to overcome a hell of a lot of obstacles. Okay, social media is a place where everyone can just type in two seconds some amazing thing about what they want to do and what they want, what they want in their life. But the application requires sitting in the room, working, no one seeing the result over and over, feeling uncomfortable emotions. And that is what life has got a lot of in it. So we're going to have to do that. Now, with this persistence journey, you need to remind yourself, why is Rob banging on about persistence? because it's obviously such a key ingredient to life, because obstacles are going to be coming your way 24-7. They came my way 24-7 from the age of 17 when I was stuck suffering with OCD. And they came my way 24-7 with anything that you do in your career, anything you do in your life, injuries, obstacles in careers, everything. Persistence is what it's all about. The people that are most successful and the people that you tend to look up to in all areas of life a masters at persistence. That doesn't mean you're not going to feel great all the time. That doesn't mean you're not going to feel uh, mental barriers. You are, but you're going to take a long-term approach because long-term is key. Short-term ends. Long-term is continuing. So we have to take short-term approach to certain things. Not everything's long-term. You don't want to just be sitting at the desk your whole life working all day long. You want to be enjoying things and doing things and going on holiday and seeing your friends and family and going out for a nice dinner, watching a great movie, doing all of that. These are short-term things. But collectively, all these habits and behaviours are building up to form your life. Life ain't going to just happen to you. Nobody just sits there and wakes up uh, at their goals. That doesn't happen. It feels like that will happen in life because sometimes great things have landed on our lap. But truly great things, the truly the things you want in life, do not land on your lap. I have never seen them land on people's laps like that. People will have lucky breaks, but they've usually put in a lot of work to get that. Some people will have things, super lucky breaks, like perhaps a lottery winner, which can be a curse as well. The lottery winner has just won with a ticket with very little input. But usually, if you look at lottery winners, and if you look at studies of lottery winners versus people that have got very harsh life disabilities, they show that often the happiness in those people with the injuries is far higher than the lottery winner. We understand why, because of perspectives and gratitude. And so that can be seen, and there are studies showing that. Most lottery winners you look at tend to end up quite miserable and losing all their money because a lot of the skills to acquire that level of the money that they've made, they haven't yet developed to manage that. And most people around them are like hawks trying to take that money and siphon it off. 
So that makes things very difficult. Plus, many of the things that would have come with building that level of money that they've got from the lottery ticket win, those skills and things learning along the way, oh, buying a new car all the time doesn't bring me the level of happiness due to diminishing returns. They've just got that paycheck and go out and make very large decisions without seeing those kind of elements uh, that come along with the journey. So I think it's vital that you think very carefully about how your life is going to shape, be shaped and which ingredients do you want to put into that. And if you put in the ingredient of persistence time and time again, no matter what anyone says about you, no matter who rejects you, no matter what life throws at you, you are going to persist to the end. You will win time and time again. I can't emphasize that enough. You will not win by talking about, I want to do this, I want to do that. This celebrity on a podcast said they did this, they asked the universe and it came to them. That is a load of crap. You can sit here now and I can ask the universe for loads of things and it ain't going to land on my lap. I could ask the universe to pay my bills, it's not going to pay my bills. So therefore, asking the universe and sitting there and waiting for it to happen isn't the answer. What will happen though, is if you are persistent and make change time and time again, you are shaping your internal world, which is then shaping your external world. So your environment's changing. You're confident. People are looking to you for support. People are seeing you as reliable. That's the goal, to become someone who's reliable, not unreliable. That's key. And you can mould that and shape that. And then people will see that in you and then your world will start to shape around you and other people's worlds will shape around you because of the input you're putting in. And if you do that time and time again, your reality, your world is changing. That's how these changes happen. So if you make those shifts, your world changes. But you've got to make those shifts time and time again. And each hurdle that comes up, you use that as an obstacle to propel you far higher. Do that. Think about that daily. Remember that. Don't beat yourself up about it. Don't put yourself down by it. And don't tell yourself it compulsively. But just take it on board and apply that ingredient to your life and you will win.